good morning guys and happy thursday so i just got ready for the day real quick i am about to go walk our neighbor's dog but i just wanted to go ahead and get dressed for the gym too i'm going back and forth on if i want to go to f45 or work out here but it's really gloomy outside and parking's always really weird at f45 so i'll probably just work out here in our apartment gym. But this is a new sports bra from the No Filter Collection. I love this color. If you guys wanted to check them out, I believe they have already launched by the time this video goes up. Definitely check them out and make sure you use my code for a little extra discount and it also supports me. I'm a medium in everything. Just for reference, I'm 5'9". Normally a true medium in everything, so pretty true to size. I Anywho, I thought I would pick up my camera and vlog today because I have missed vlogging for my youtube channel i'm trying to get back into my good routine posting every sunday today is a yucky gloomy day but i do have a few things on the agenda obviously work out i'll show you guys some of the meals i'm eating and then i'm also doing a pretty long private i think i've talked about this in a couple videos ago but i've been doing dance lessons with this girl who's trying out for her high school dance team and i'm going to be working with her for like two hours today because her tryouts are this weekend and she just wants to go in feeling really prepared so i got that today and then just my normal day-to-day -day stuff but also while i'm in here i'm about to take my vitamins and i wanted to show you guys what all i've been taking lately this is not sponsored i just wanted to show you guys what i've been taking and loving recently because it does change up here and there depending on you know if it's winter or summer or like what's going on with me personally so you guys have probably seen this one a couple times now but this is from thorn this is their vitamin d and k2 drops me and jarek especially since it's been kind of gloomy and rainy and cold lately we we will take like two servings of this two drops and i like to do a liquid form of vitamin d because it's more absorbable absorbable and i also did some blood work a couple like a month or two ago and they said my vitamin d levels were really low so he recommended this one it has the k2 because k2 also helps with vitamin d absorption next i have been taking this product from wellco this is their pms elixir basically it just helps kind of help with PMS and regulating your hormones. It contains so many good things. And then you guys know I've been taking these forever. This is from 1UP Nutrition. This is their Omega 3s. I have said this so many different times and I tell this to my clients that I train online that pretty much almost everybody should be taking a Omega supplement, um, especially if you don't eat fish on the reg. If you guys wanted to try any of 1UP supplements, I do have a code with them. All right, so I just made my breakfast too, so I'm gonna go eat something and then take my vitamins. All right, so here is my breakfast. I just have two boiled eggs and some strawberries. And then on top of my boiled eggs, don't judge until you try it, but I put just a little bit of yellow mustard. If you like deviled eggs or like egg salad, that's literally like what it tastes like. It just gives it a little flavor and I really like it. So I have, I'm gonna eat this and then I gotta go walk our neighbor's dog real quick. From the gym i did legs and then i ended with 15 minutes on the stair stepper and i'm nice and sweaty um but i'm about to eat some lunch now i saw new balance launch these new dad shoes and they're pink and they're so cute so i like immediately bought them and they just came in and i am actually obsessed i think they might be sold out already but you can definitely go check my life to know it i remember when i was checking out it said like 500 people had them in their cart and they like just launched them. Keep your eye out for a restock if they are out of stock. So for lunch today, I'm having a new tray meal. This one is called the Spring Herb Chicken Green Bowl. Basically it has some grains at the bottom, some greens, some chicken, and then some like Mediterranean style dressing. Feta, cucumbers, tomatoes, olives, all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna eat this real quick and then I'm gonna shower and get ready for the rest of my day. So I just got home from my dance private with the girl I've been working with and it was really good. We met for like two-ish hours, a little less, but, but I'm home from that, it went well. And now I'm just gonna relax for a little bit, but I got these yesterday. I don't 
sure you guys have seen these all over tiktok the fruit riot sour grapes they're literally just frozen grapes with sour candy coating on the outside and we've almost eaten the whole bag and i got them yesterday they are so good if you can find them near you highly recommend so like i said they're just frozen grapes and they have like that sour coating on the outside and they're also coated in lemon juice so they're super sour but so good Mm. All right, so now I'm just gonna chill. I do need to do some stuff on my computer real quick, but other than that, rest of the night, pretty chill evening. It's currently like five something. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, so I just made some dinner. I'm gonna show you real quick. Just a little bowl of basmati rice and beef, avocado, broccoli, and hot sauce, and also a little bit of feta for flavor. Super easy, convenient, but filling and healthy and tastes really good too, so. This is normally one of our go-to lunches or dinners just because it's super easy to make and it's also really freaking good. So just going to eat this, enjoy it, and I'll catch you guys afterwards. <sighs> um, so currently in my car, obviously. I forgot to fill you like guys in yesterday on what today's what today is. Um, but it's very early. It's like 6:30 or so which has been a lot earlier than I've been getting up lately. And I'm heading, if you guys know, I dog sit here and there for those Frenchies. Uh, and I'm heading over to their house. I'm gonna watch them pretty much all day. And then around 6.30, another dog sitter is coming to take over for me. And I'm heading to Boone. So I'm judging the App State Dance Team auditions this weekend. And Jack's gonna come with me. So I'll bring you guys along for that too because it, it'll be really fun. I might make it into a separate vlog. I haven't decided yet. I also haven't had any caffeine. So I'm in line at Starbucks because I need, I need something to get me woken up. Oh yeah, baby. Just got my usual order of vanilla sweet cream cold brew. And then I also got breakfast just because I wasn't feeling like making anything super early and Jack was still sleeping. So I got the turkey bacon sandwich. Oh, my allergies are killing me. So I'm about to head in and hang out with the doggies for the day. And yeah, that's pretty much what the agenda is for today. I brought over my work so I can work on my computer while I'm here. And then I also brought this. Let's talk about this. I started this book right after I read the second one, A Court of Mist and Fury, and this is the third book in the series, and I feel like after the second book, I just really needed a break, <laughs> to be completely honest. I, it's just so much and so much information that I just needed a little bit of a break, I'm not gonna lie. So I've started this book like probably three times, and I've finally gotten back into it i'm on page 136 now it took me a minute and i feel like if you guys have read these books or any books by sarah j moss mass whatever her name is moss um you know that like the first part of all of her books at least for this series uh are really slow and like take a minute to build up and like get interesting so i feel like it's starting to get a little bit more interesting and i'm starting to like crave reading it again so i brought this whenever i finish like my work or whatever or if i just don't feel like watching tv so this is what the, what's on the agenda for today i might do a workout like just on the tv or something here because i probably won't feel like leaving they actually got a new puppy like a couple weeks ago so i'm excited to go meet him and then later when i get done around six watching them uh like i said me and jack are heading up to boone so i'll head back home get all my stuff together and we are going to hit the road well hello there hey, Bonnie. Bonnie. this is Bodie. he's a little frenchy puppy and he's so cute there's Kingston, a big boy. He's a good boy. There's Lulu. She says hello. She likes to sit like a human. I see you. Hear her snort. Hey, Lulu. Hey, Lulu. What you see, boy? guys so it is a little bit later i got done with watching the dogs and just went home got all of our stuff together jack's in the car with me and we are heading up to boone i'm really excited because both of us went to app state for college so we're just going and making a little trip out of it so we can go do all of the boone things and yeah um we're not gonna get there until a little bit later like what time did it say like nine or so oh, yeah we'll probably get there around nine but uh, I have to judge tomorrow and Sunday for the dance team auditions, but it's only for a couple hours, so 
we'll make a whole trip out of it and obviously bring you guys along so i'll catch you guys once we get to the hotel so it is about nine or so yeah it's actually 901 exactly and we just got to boone and i want to show you our room real quick it's really cute it's very like mountain cabin vibes so you walk in and i already hung up some of my clothes but you have this little area then the bathroom and then here is our room it's so cute and like cozy cute little bed some artwork on the walls nice and cozy and it's very cold outside too so this feels like the vibe and then there's also a little patio which i'll show you guys probably more tomorrow because it's dark and rainy and gross outside so yeah that is our little room tour we're probably just going to actually we're going to order some cookies place in boone it's called app cookie co they have the best cookies in the world and i do not say that lightly because i'm a cookie fiend so i think we're going to order some of those and go pick them up and just have a chill night because i have to be up kind of early tomorrow morning um i have to be there at like 8 30 or so to start the auditions and stuff and judging and all that good stuff we have the first cuts tomorrow and then sunday will be the final audition so that'll be a bit of a longer day and yeah so chill night tonight we're gonna order some cookies the cheesecake cookies are the best oh my gosh they have so many good flavors now we need to collaborate on this they have a lot of new flavors that sound interesting these are all the new ones yeah so they have strawberry banana cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we'll Lot, get cheese. Lotus stuffed cookie butter. Stuffed Oreo crunch. That's probably good. We should get one of those. Chocolate covered strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> oh no. That's why I'm only probably going to get one cheesecake. We're going to do six. I don't know. But look down here. There was one I thought these look interesting too. The frosted animal cracker. Okay. Look at them. Okay. Pick the last one. Yeah, but I'm gonna give you options. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Snickerdoodle. Yeah. Cheesecake. I promise you, they're gonna still have similar taste. Okay. To the OG. So we're about to place our order, and this is what we're getting for our cookies. We have strawberry banana cheesecake, and to preface this, App Cookie Co. If you guys ever go, their cheesecake cookies are insane. Like they're so good. So we got strawberry banana cheesecake cookie, chocolate covered strawberry cheesecake stuffed oreo crunch and then you have to get the original chocolate chip so we got one of those snickerdoodle and then the scout which is like a samoa cookie like the girl scout samoas i feel like that one will be really good too so yes we're getting six of them because yellow we are back with the goods we also got waters at the gas station because we didn't have any a lot so we got a bunch of flavors that we haven't tried before um those look fantastic which one do you want to start with it doesn't matter i guess we'll start with this one is strawberry banana cheesecake yum it has like strawberry sprinkles on it or something i don't know i have a feeling this is it? going to be very good strawberry banana cheesecake oh yeah that's real strong it's good. it's good though oh yeah i think it's like Strawberry cake mix in there too. Mmm! Chocolate covered strawberry cheesecake. Has a little strawberry on it and it's very cute. Not bad. I think I like the other one better. I don't know. The aftertaste is really good. I think I like the first one better. Because it's more like the normal cheesecake. Okay. This one I'm very, very excited about. It's called the Scout. It's like a Samoa flavored one, like the Girl Scout cookies. And it has one in the middle. And it has a giant Samoa on the middle of it. It's really crumbly. I'll let you pick it up. Yeah, that's good. Yum! I have macadamia nuts in it. I think I like the first two better than that one though. Even though this is the one you wanted the most. Yeah. Mm. This is so fun. <laughs> Those are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Next. What was this one called? Cookie. Cookie Monster. <laughs> no, it's just like cookies and cream. Stuffed cookie. Yeah, <laughs> stuffed cookie. Crunch. It has a crunch to it. You taste that? Yeah. What is that? Like a heat bar or something. I don't know. <laughs> that one's good though. I like it. Very weird texture. That one and the first one is my favorite. Yeah, good noodle. We've had this one before. Yeah. We know it. Bless. The OG. This is Jack's favorite. Fun fact. In college, Jack actually worked at App Cookie Co. <laughs> he was slinging cookies in the back. Yep. And when he worked there, I was in the process of like training for NFL cheer and like auditioning and stuff. And I was really strict with my diet, so he would get all the cookies for free. So he would bring home boxes of these after work. I all never the time. brought them to you though, because I know no, you weren't. No, he would bring them to your apartment. Yeah. But 
I w we would hang out all the time, obviously. So, so I would just like them? smell them because I was trying to be like really good with oh. not eating a bunch of sugar and stuff. But this one's the OG chocolate chip. We know this one is really good too. Yeah, the chocolate chips like always amazing. Mm -hmm. Which one you like the most? We should have got original cheese. Cake. I know, I told you. <laughs> that one's nah, the best. I'm I'm a little bit basic, so I like the Snickerdoodle, and honestly, just the regular chocolate chip the best. Oh, you can have all the Snickerdoodle. I don't love that one. Okay. That commences our cookie taste test. Now we're just going to chill, and I'll probably go to bed soon because I've got an early morning tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning guys, just got ready for day one of auditions and we're gonna go downstairs and get breakfast real quick, but there's no full length mirror. So this is how I'm doing the fit check today. This little sweater dress is from Amazon and I just did my heatless curls last night, did a little bit of makeup, but we're gonna run downstairs real quick, get something to eat and then Jack's gonna drop me off at the auditions. So, good morning guys. Hey guys, so it's a couple hours later. I got done, we wrapped up with the first round of audition. So I got to leave after that because they're just learning like choreography and stuff for tomorrow, which is the final round. But Jack came and got me and I changed into just like a little comfy outfit. And we went to Comeback Shack. We were gonna eat there, but it's really, really small and it was packed. So there was literally nowhere to sit and our hotel is like right next to it, so we just came back to eat. All right, so this is probably one of my favorite foods on planet Earth. This is their buffalo fries. It's literally just fries with buffalo sauce and ranch, and it's so good. I got a lettuce wrap burger. Uh, it has all kinds of good stuff on it. And then what'd you get, Jack? Just a regular burger with some pimento cheese, oh, lettuce, yeah. grilled onions. So good. So we're just gonna enjoy this, and then probably just hang out for a little bit. We were thinking about going hiking, but it's actually really cold outside and windy. And, and it rained all last night. Yeah. The one of the other judges that was there lives in Boone full time. And she said that it's been raining a lot, so it'd probably be really muddy and not enjoyable. So, I don't know if we'll do anything else today, but I'll keep you guys updated. A little bit later, I definitely took a nap because I did not sleep good last night. Something about sleeping in a hotel just does not... I don't sleep good so I took a little nap and I was so tired and didn't even really realize it until I like sat down and then my eyes were closed anywho I need to do some work in the room it's still so chilly here it's like sunny but definitely not like outdoor activity kind of weather because I would be cold and probably complaining about how cold I was the whole time wanted to get some energy because I haven't had I had coffee this morning but I didn't really drink much of it so I went and got some caffeine so I could like do some work and have some energy in my cells um and there's this place in Boone called seven brew and they have obviously coffee but they also have like these energy drink things and the girl was so sweet who like helps me and like checks me out or whatever and she helped me pick out flavors that were good so this one's called the ocean breeze it's their energy drink or whatever and then blue raspberry and coconut fire very fire and then this one she called the pixie stick and it sounds really weird, but she said it's almond syrup, obviously the energy, almond syrup, orange, and raspberry or something. And it's fire. I thought the, the almond sounded weird, but it is fire. Obviously, I'm not going to drink both of these by myself. I got one for Jack, so he can choose which one he wants more. I have a feeling he's going to choose this one. I'm gonna be sad about it but this one's good too the pixie stick I have to do some editing on my phone so that's probably what I'm gonna be doing for the next foreseeable future and then we might go for a ride on the parkway later tonight so basically you can just go for a ride on the Blue Ridge Parkway and just take in the view so we might do that like at sunset time to catch some good sunset and it's just been so fun to judge for the app state dance team because it's just like a full circle moment for me I don't know if you guys knew this about me but my first my first freshman year of college I actually didn't make the dance team my first year and while I thought that was devastating it like really pushed me to work a lot harder and take things more seriously with dance and I'm so I'm honestly kind of glad like that that happened to me and I just wanted to say that to let you guys know like if you ever get a no in your life or something doesn't go the way you had planned it Sometimes it works out for the better because honestly, I feel like if I didn't make it my freshman year, it wouldn't have lit that 
fire under my butt and I wouldn't have done NFL cheer maybe or like I don't know you never know how things really unravel so if something isn't going the way that you wanted it to or you envisioned it or you get a no from something that you were hoping to get a yes to don't take it as a no forever Wh whether it's an audition like for me maybe I just wasn't what they were looking for that year but the next year I showed up even and worked even harder and then got it or if it's like a job interview maybe it means that there's something else out there that's better for you better for your lifestyle and it's all gonna work out the way it's supposed to so i'm gonna take these in to jack get to editing and then i'll catch you guys once we head to the parkway or if we decide to do something different I just got ready and I'm about to head to judge the last round of auditions. I just got this really cute like free people dupe dress off of Amazon. It's super cute and comfortable and it's a lot warmer today so it's the vibe. Um, but today is a little of a longer day. I have to be there at like 9 and we don't get done until around 3. So busy day but after that we're just going to head home. So I'll show you guys as much as I can of auditions and then I will talk to you guys afterwards. As you can see, I'm home now. I thought I would end the vlog now because I didn't actually officially end the vlog when we were in Boone. Basically, all we did was judge. The auditions went super well. Um, all the judges were on the same page of who should make it and who should be cut and all that good stuff. So it went super smoothly. We got done kind of early and then me and Jack just drove home. And that's literally all we did. So, thought I would end the vlog here. If you guys enjoyed it, I know it was a bit of a longer vlog. So, let me know if you like the longer vlogs. Let me know down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Um, and, yeah. Get ready for all the moving vlogs. The next couple videos you guys will see will be in our new house. And uh, the process of all of that. Because, obviously, I'm going to bring you guys along with me. Um, so yeah, definitely su subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up, like I said. I love you guys so much. Thank you for spending your time with me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.